Hey, boat friends. Wednesday, May 24th. Pretty scary situation unfolded last night. As you can see, around 10 p.m., a fire broke out in the engine room of the vessel that you can see right here, the Cayuga, next to Pelee Island. And before I get into the details, the map, and a video that I have for you, let me show you some more information about the Cayuga. Again, old school Laker, forward pilot house, as you can see, built in 1943, 664 feet in length. Uh, this information comes from Rand Logistics. They own the vessel, and I'll uh, link that in the description. But back to the story here, pretty scary, over 30 crew members are on board, and I want to show you this video. This comes from the United States Coast Guard Great Lakes Twitter feed. I'm going to zoom in. This is a helicopter view of the scene right after it happened, and you can see multiple different vessels that arrived to aid assistance, Coast Guard, local police, and uh, others. So pretty scary situation last night. Here's a, a better idea of where the location is. There's Pelee Island, so let me pull back a little bit. Show you, um, there's Detroit. So if you remember in proximity, let me show you here with this laser pointer. Right there where I have the pointer, that's where the Mark Barker ran aground right there. So we're talking about a, a pretty close proximity right down here from uh, where that happened. Uh, a little more information that I, I wanna show you as well as part of the story. There are some screenshots that uh, show the Indiana Harbor and uh, the Radcliffe that also came at that time to help out. And uh, the story, credit to CTV Windsor Canada, I'll put that link in there as well. And here's some additional information that I found on the Toledo Blade, credit to them. As you can see, 20 crew members were transferred to a Canadian Coast Guard vessel and 12 crew members stayed on board to monitor the situation. So all in all, pretty scary scenario unfolding in a, a very short time frame from when we had an issue with the Mark Barker. So luckily the crew is uh, good and uh, we hope that that vessel is back out sailing pretty soon. Uh, additional information I found out it was carrying stone from Ohio, and it was uh, going to Ontario. So that's the latest update. I'll keep you posted.